Alright, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Eagle Island, or welcome back to it if you caught my videos on this previously. So, uh, you might hear this story a couple of times, or maybe you've heard it before, but, uh, randomly got this key back in PAX West. One of the screen wave people just walked by and was like, here, have an Eagle Island key, and I'm like, uh, yes, thank you. Uh, because this is actually one of those games that I had been, like, admiring on Twitter for quite some time. And, like, it looked really cute, and it looked really charming, and it also looked kind of hard, and guess what, it was all of those. And then some, but I'm I'm a big fan of roguelikes. Interesting. Oh, I'm am I not clicked in on the game? That's why I couldn't interact with it. I was wondering about that. Uh, so interesting thing about this game is it actually has uh, a couple of different game modes. It might also be a bit loud. So let's turn that down. Uh, but so it's got a roguelike mode, but it's also got a Metroidvania mode. So that's what we're going to be focusing on at least initially. I might do the uh, aiming guide. Thank God. That's something I can turn on. I am terrible with this. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to do the Metroidvania mode, and then we'll do the rogue roguelike mode later. I don't know. I've seen some really impressive people play this, but like, for the life of me, I'm so bad at it normally. Uh, let's see. Core rules, hardcore rules, casual rules. Challenging gameplay, 3 HP, 4 times combo drops a heart. Blue chests contain hearts. Frequent mana rock drops. Cheaper shopping. Tucon trader stays. Ah, uh, I'm gonna start with casual. And let's just play the game. Under the sapphire blue sky, Quill sets off on an adventure with his faithful owls, Koji and Ichiro. So, I guess I'll show this later, but yeah, so Koji. And they are owls. I was right! Together, the three companions sail among the peaceful islands of the... Otriatic Sea. When all at once a sharp wind sweeps from the north, and blinding lightning bolts sunder the sky. Blistering heat engulfs the boat as it bursts into flames. This is really cute. A monstrous grip tightens around the Quill's chest, or around Quill's chest. Sorry, I've been playing too much Warframe. Boop. We wait. Can I leap? Farewell, universe. Thank you, help owls. I probably did need that. Okay. But yeah, there's there's a couple reasons why I'm playing this on casual. One, because platformers uh, historically are pretty bad for my hands. And I have, uh, I have a really weak right wrist, and I don't want to, like, destroy it playing video games, even if it's a good game. The other thing is, I've played at least a couple hours of this game at this point, and, like, the first time I got to play it, it wasn't too bad. But I, I got to play it at PAX East most recently. Uh-oh. And it was, like, on one of the harder demos or something like that, or, like, later on in the game or in the rogue mode. I'm not entirely sure. Effectively... Uh, effectively, I I was trying to play for nearly the last hour of like Friday at at PAX, and I couldn't I couldn't beat it. I apparently did fairly well according to some of the people at Screenwave, uh, but just like this is not an easy game, at least from what little I did. Well, I can't get past that until I learn how to battle. This is the point where I'd probably bail and say, like, mm, you know what? Ow, why would I do this? Hi. That's a big bird. Stop. Nope, that's my owl, and it's gone. Well, Mr. Bunny Rabbit, never mind, Mr. Bunny Rabbit's gone, too. Hey, kid. That wretched eagle seized your bird as well? I'm Dr. Oliver Ornis. Just recently, the eagle snatched feathers, my own owl. Eagle's name is Am Amara. She threatens many birds on this island. Three totem birds of elemental power hiding nearby. They hold power beyond anything you can imagine. We need to find the totems before Amara does. She only seeks to increase her own power by eating owls for some reason, I'm not sure why. Take this ancient falconry glove. Its powers will help you on your journey. I do it myself, but well, no, uh, no bird, no adventure. Falconry glove from ancient times. Press X to cast Koji off. 
Head west now, to the glade. I've seen Totem Zafara darting through the trees there. Let's hope you find her before Amara does. What is this thing? Oh, that aiming guide is going to be so nice. Weep. To aim, hold X, call the bird, point in the direction. Ow. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> so one thing I've noticed with this game, at least with the aiming, is it really does not like anything other than the eight cardinal directions. Falconer can call their bird midair. It will remain suspended in the air until the bird is cast off. Which I think throws me off a little bit, because that means precise aim is important. It's not that big a, big of a deal. But it's something that's gonna take some getting used to. Also, if you uh you miss and the bird hits something else, the uh It'll take a bit. How do I pull up the map? Achievement settings. Casual rules. Oh, can I just switch them freely? Oh! Well that's nice! Let's switch to core rules, at least, until I get my butt kicked. So is there a way to pull up the map? Normally. Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, whatever, going this way. Go this way. I don't know, I, I feel guilty for being on casual mode, but it's also one of those where... Oh, welcome to Greenwood Glade. Casual run. Huh. Let's see, so a couple of things about this game. Uh, hand designed but pre procedural generated, uh, if that makes sense. So effectively, all the levels are hand designed, but the uh, the layouts I think are procedurally generated. Uh, there's a combo system, so the less you miss, the uh, I think there's there's some kind of cooldown on it too. Uh, but the less you miss, uh, the higher your multiplier goes. I think that's how you get magic back, but also how you get. Uh, Oh. I can't get underwater. Okay. Uh, but also how you get hearts back, I think you have to have a times four multiplier to get uh, even one health back. And yeah, if you notice, the multiplier goes right away, so... You really have to book it if you want to actually do well, I think? Unless, unless I'm, like, totally misreading everything, but it's... It's it's a very speedrunner-inspired game, I want to say. Okay, I got 32. Let's pop this open. Roji steers towards nearby enemies. Uh... I think largely because I know the, uh... Oh, come on! Let's see. I know partly because... Oh, that's cool. Uh, let's see. Toucan Traveler. Welcome, Traveler. Buy anything you like with silver coins. Okay, so we can buy health, extra health, chest some more points on the map, items to quill from a distance, more time for getting combos. So that latter part would have been nice, but I guess we're going to go with this. Okay, so I'm maxed out. Life is good. Oh, interesting. Uh, but yeah, so this game's been an, available as a demo for a while. You know what? Yep. That missed. I want to get that times four combo, but it is it is hard to get to. Uh, let's see. What was I gonna say? Whoops. Nope. Damn it. Wow, that timer is merciless. Okay, fortune time's gone by, uh, now worthless to all but one. Ancient coin. I guess I'll grab onto it. Still in a bad spot, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, so the demo was available for a decent while. And from what I know, mostly got picked up by 
uh, speedrunners. Which is why it might seem a little uh, brutal. At least compared to, like, early levels of most... And I'm dead. Damn it. I tried chucking Ko Koji and then jumping over him, but there's a bit of a lag time. Okay, game over. Try again. I think I can. Alright. Yeah, run number two. So, it's got... If it's not immediately obvious... Whoops. Uh, it's got some kind of... Well, I guess it's split up in... Roguelike sections. This is... I mean, it makes sense. It's weird, but it makes sense. But yeah, probably gonna turn this on casual mode after this this run, just so I can actually like succeed. Because it's uh going to kick my ass seven ways to Tuesday. And I'm like trying to justify it, but in reality, like, I don't think Uh oh, I see. I can only change the difficulty outside of one of these runs. That makes sense. Let's see. Go down? Go down. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to explain mechanics that probably should become obvious, but they're ones that I already know, so I'm like trying to tutorialize a little bit. I shouldn't do this. I'm terrible at explaining game mechanics, but this is a good opportunity for me to like at least try. But let's see. So two currencies. One's I think a seed. It's not actually like golden coins. Oh, that's not gonna work. Missed. Uh, let's see. But the seeds are used to open up chests, which sometimes get you something. There we go. Rebound. Uh, so it gets you these little tokens. Those tokens are temporary. They seem like uh, cool little perks, but they're not. They're not long lasting. I can never hit those guys, especially without uh, squandering things. Okay. Well, what do we got? Extra health. Regular Koji inflicts double damage. Open three chests for free. I'm gonna do that, grab a little bit of HP. I have no idea if there's, if we wanna stick around or not. Oh, we can fast travel. I guess let's go back here and check the other room too. I love the artistry for this game. Like the the pixel art looks looks absolutely adorable. One thing you might not notice, but there's actually uh there's actually like lighting on the characters. Um, God, I don't remember what it was called, but this was actually something that was really popular when I was just starting YouTube. Uh, people were like sharing whatever the whatever piece of software it was. Will can jump away from vertical walls. Hey, that's kind of handy. Admittedly, it's not a wall kick, but still. Oh, no, I'm going the wrong way now. But I really like looking at the backgrounds as I go by. I don't know, forest, forests are cool. I didn't get to really appreciate them that much when I was in Kansas, because there wasn't a whole lot of trees anywhere. And so now that we're out in Oregon, now everything is like really nice and beautiful. Uh-oh. What? Oh! There we go. I got some health. Yeah! Hard to pull off. I think I finished my thought. But, effectively, uh, to go back to what I was saying about the, the demo. Whoops. That ain't gonna work. Uh, the demo got got picked up by a bunch of speedrunners and, like, obsessives. And so I think a lot of the feedback that went into be uh, into this game being made was uh, speedrun people. Damn it. Which makes perfect sense. That's rough. What? Oh, uh, probably because I touched the wall or something. Or maybe I missed. Ah. 
Please don't tell me I took damage for that. Nope, doesn't look like I did. Okay. Uh, well, I got enough for it. Sup? Roji steers towards nearby enemies. Oh, yeah! Uh, if you notice, I just put that in the token 2 slot where the uh, double damage perk was. I didn't even see the boar there. But effectively, uh... Let's see. What am I trying to say? Uh, effectively, those little tokens break after a, cer a certain period of time. And that combo timer is extraordinarily limiting. Especially because the enemies only have, like, X amount of HP, too. Okay, so we get another one of these. Well, I hope you guys like Padeep, because, oof, we're, we are in trouble. Nope, oh, damn it. Because the enemies aren't, like, super aggressive. It kind of works out in my favor. Okay, there he is. So. Okay, so I got 41. What do we buy? I don't even have a whole lot left, actually. I'm just gonna pick that up. We want the... Extra health? I'm just gonna go with what I have. I don't know if we've got a boss coming up soon. But that didn't work. Let's see. I'm... I'm kind of focused because I'm kind of bad at this. Nope, that didn't work. There we go. Anything interesting over here? No. Aha! There are secrets, though. 100 for the red one. Uh, let's save up for the red one. Whatever that is, it's got to be more useful. It's got to be better than all the other ones that I'm rolling with. We'll see. Yeah, I know you can turn the beep off in settings. It's just mildly important because I'm going to forget. Okay. And I know if you score a hit, you can immediately fire... Koji off a second time around. And hit an enemy. But, boy... That seems like a risky proposition. I guess he could do it. Still seems like a risky proposition to me, though. Okay, what do we got? Yeah, seeds. There should be at least another fast travel point before whatever the boss is. So... The other thing to get used to is... Oh. There we go. Is... Koji's maximum range. Okay, uh, I think that was a kill door. Yep. And a mist. I know you can get your combo past a certain amount as well. Like, if it goes past four, it gets even better. Flies further when attacking. Hmm. I'm still waiting for that, uh, my tokens to break, but they don't seem particularly interested in doing so. Not honestly sure how I'm supposed to get around those guys without getting gassed in the face bits. I 
can I have my health back? Ease and thank. It hurts. Oh, boss. Whoops. Okay. So now I understand some parts of this game. So I've fought this guy before. Uh, let's see. Back when I first got access to this game. And I'd actually received a message from uh, Pixelnix, uh, the developer behind this, and he was asking me why I wasn't uh, chain comboing with... Uh... Okay, that's gonna gas. Whoops. He was asking why I wasn't chain comboing with Koji. I'm gonna be honest with you. I actually didn't even know about it until he had mentioned it. That you could, like, uh, that you got an instant recharge on Koji. But that's okay. Oh, we needed this token for that bird. Well, it's dead. It freaking died. But that's fine. Because now we've got, uh... It's like the lightning element. Launch an attack which chains through foes. Watch your mana rock meter. I actually did fairly well there, and we got the token. Whatever that means. I'm not sure. Go and get the red chest. Eh, too late. So, interesting. This is actually just split up into uh, little overworlds. I know there's more chapters than this. Because if we check this, yeah. So, there's a bunch of different feathers and other things that we can pick up. Plus, whatever that is. I think those are the coins. So, in that case, can we kind of surmise how long this game is? Not easily. 10... 18, 20 levels, give or take. And that was core rules. Casual. Frequent mana rock drops, cheaper shopping, toucan trader stays, blue chest contain hearts. Honestly, I'm gonna just switch to casual rules so I have... So... My chance of defeat is lower. And also so I can screw around more. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go this way. No idea if this is better, but still. I will admit I'm a little bit, uh... I'm not gonna say disappointed, but it would have been really cool. Oh. Maybe we talk to him. Vara got taken? This is terrible news. Omara gains the power of lightning. You managed to swipe one of her feathers? Uh, that'll make Koji so powerful. It's imperative you rescue Totem Magira and Totem Bakora. Go now. I've sighted Totem Magira high in the desert sky. There we go. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm a little bit disappointed. Oh, I see. That's pretty cool. Uh, did those, like, little pick-up, power-up things, uh, that I'm finding out about, don't, um... Let's see, the little pick-up, power-up things aren't permanent, you can, can just, like, slot between them. I think it's because I'm very spoiled by, like, other Metroidvanias, uh, or roguelikes in their, their, like, permanent power-up system. I think I can do that. Let's go the other way first. Maybe there's something else I can get. Uh, but I I almost kind of wish that uh, those those little like circle power-ups were permanent and you could uh, cycle between them. Okay, definitely can't get through there. Uh, and so like you have a loadout, four different things. Do you want the extra health? Do you want the extra damage? Do you want ricochet shot or homing shot or anything like that? Just because I, I find the... Uh, I, I find the little power-ups actually pretty compelling in how they change gameplay, and... Oh, I'm totally out of mana rock. That's, that's what it is. Whee! That's cool. That might be easier. Let's see. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize I have, like... So that's how the extra hearts work. Oh, wait, no, no. The little hearts only count as one. The big heart counts as three. I got it. I understand. Yeah, 
Get out of here, you weird cactus. I'm gonna get smackoed. Just trying to get around to these guys. Ow. Well, on one hand, this all kind of balances itself out. Because I am terrible... Well, he killed himself, never mind. Because I am terrible, I'm gonna end up taking more damage than I normally would by just, like, face rolling. Double damage. I'll take it. That's pretty cool. If I remember right, mana rocks are way less common on the harder difficulties, too. Which is rough. Can I get that open? I guess I can. Uh, Koji collects items for Quill. Heck yeah. This is going to go so badly. Oh. Well, that was quick. Oh, interesting. He really can't swim. Damn it! Oh, I didn't even notice I took out the dude in the back. Aha! Well, it kind of works out for me. And yeah, I'm still taking buttloads of damage, so I think casual difficulty is best for me. So I can actually, like, sit back and relax and enjoy the game as opposed to being like, Why am I so bad? And I think that is fair. I am glad that there's kind of a happy medium here on difficulty. Uh, you know, there's that consistent... Uh, conversation about like well that's not actually as helpful as I was hoping it would be were the other chests openable in much the same way probably were ideas never die oh Kickstarter stuff right forgot this game was kickstarted hence the demo screw you fish can't kill it though That got closer than I wanted it to. We Well, that's satisfying. Uh, let's see. Did get the other stuff? He might have. I'm not sure. Gimme. This wanderer's always questioning why he's so bad at things. I mean, I'm, I'm not actually... Oh. I'm not actually that terrible at games. It's mainly just uh, a consistent unwillingness to try really hard. Uh... I find maximum effort to, to be rather uncomfortable physically. You know, I was talking about I wish some of these were permanent. Ow! This spring jump. Like, this spring jump is exactly the kind of thing I wish was permanent. Just because it's fun. And I would like to use it more often. Like, perpetually. Because it would be cool kind of making that tactical decision. It's like, okay, of these items, which is going to be most helpful? Lightning Bolt strikes Koju. When using Zaf uh, Zahara's Feather. Ooh. I'm going to hold on to that one for a while. Oh, that didn't work. Well, that doubly didn't work. Bird murder! Are, are they birds? I don't even know what these things necessarily are. Ah! No, damn it. Am I done with my last HP already? 
Casual mode. I desperately needed you, apparently. Because I'd be in trouble, normally. Okay. What can we get? I'm gonna grab that. I wonder if these resources carry over, or if that's just a casual mode thing. Okay, running out of mana rocks, but not too much. That's fine. Let's see. Enemies have a name. You can check the, uh, you can check into the beast, Jerry. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... <laughs> I, uh, can I, can I check that here? No. Oh, there it is. Monster log, stage log, runestone log. Snacker, mushroom, gladalus, warbore, venoblossom, Flactus, Cavalus, Blazebug, Pyromander, Pangogo, and Moltrio. Cute. That is that is some N64 era naming. Or SNES aiming, honestly. Yep. Well, grand scheme of things, that worked out. Uh, let's see. Yeah, definitely gonna have to play this tomorrow when I'm a little bit more awake. Bang! Nope. That kind of works. And that's... Well, it got that guy. Close enough. I'm running out of energy. He's so cute. And he's stuck over there. I nailed it. This is the dev's dream game when he was a little kid. That's cool. Uh, just for free. Get rid of the. Uh, let's get rid of that. Bonk. I get to meet and talk with him at least a little bit. But let's see. At, uh, PAX East. He was pretty busy, though, and it was, like, right at the end of the day, so... I totally understands. And then again, I was also, like, really focused. Ah. Koji has a smaller hitbox than I'm used to, too. Might just be, uh, the fact that he gets, like, slighter as you go along. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll grab a heart. Oh, let's go back. Let's go check some other things. Because there's, there's some rooms I've missed. Ugh. This pogo thing is so good. I wish it was permanent. Oh, because of... Because I was trying to swim there or something, it, it busted my... Oh, that was the that was the lightning bolt one. That might have been on a timer, actually. Well, I'll live without it. Uh, let's see. Go back here. I missed one room, so I want to go back to it. Oh, you're the lead QA. Oh, thank you for QA testing this. I mean, it it felt super solid all all the way back with the uh, whoa hi. What does that do? Oh. I'm supposed to hit these things. Oh, that's how I get out of here. It's a... It's a life ring. Or a key, I'm not sure. Ancient coin! I see. So this this is how you determine the uh, the direction it goes. Well, that's really clever and cute. Oh, 
Okay, uh, let's see. We should be able to just go back. I don't want to break my pogo bonus. The pogo bonus is good. Okay. Let's go back down here. Let's go ba beat the boss. Uh, let's see. Do we grab... Yeah, we might as well grab some things while we're here. Grab a heart to play display chess. Nah. Rebound? Koji is locked to a Zephara, Zahara form. Zephara. Okay. I'm not sure if that's going to cost me a whole bunch. It looks like... doesn't cost me a thing, but it's on a timer, so we gotta go fast. That's neat, though. Pop this open. We get Stinger. Sparks traverse the ground on impact when using Zafar's feather. Okay, get out of here. Oh, it's free because of that thing. Well, it's fine. Casual mode chests seem to be a little cheaper. Hi! Oh, that's... that's danger bus. I missed. Ow. Hundred percent worth it. I'm out of mana though. Luckily his aim is garbage. Hooray! Yeah, having that that tip of you can hit an enemy multiple times before you hit the ground. Actually really helpful. Oh dude, look, it's an anime character. No anime bird, why? Oh, now I got the powers of fire. Launched an explosive attack and hits many foes. Watch your mana rock meter. And... Ranking is C. Unsurprisingly. Well, that was fun. So, next time, I guess we'll go to the last area, which is... Ice? Ice. And also probably fight the... I think we... We gotta go fight the eagle? I, I know there's an embargo for, like, certain content, and so I don't want to actually go too far. I'm not sure if I have to worry about it too much. Uh, there is some ambiguity on how far I could go, because the original streaming embargo for this game was straight up Friday, and I was just like, uh, really? Uh, and it was not, actually. Which is good, because I like this game, and it's fun. All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and uh, welcome to this uh, real janky setup. My green screen ain't working because it's too dark in here, uh, and that's why there might be a little bit of like a visual noise to this video too. Uh, also, I think I just need to retool my webcam. It might actually be recording at a lower res, and I'm not really sure why. Anyway, uh, so I guess this is going to be at the end of the video that I'm about to record, uh, but I want to get it out of the way first before I forgot and just... Uh, crawl in bed. Anyway. So, I guess for those of you watching on Twitch, uh, you haven't actually seen this game yet. But, uh, before we begin, or after we've filmed it, this is weird. I got a box for the game I'm about to play. Uh, Eagle Island. Uh, they were very kind. Actually, this is one of those games that the, uh, developers have actually been, uh, really kind to me. Sort of randomly. Oh. Is my audio not coming through? I might be, I might just be too far away from the mic. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, like I said, I don't really have a good setup for this sort of thing. Um, uh, but yeah, totally impromptu in boxing, mainly because they were kind enough to send me a care package, and I gotta got record it somehow. Uh, so, effectively, story for this game, I guess, is I randomly got a code for it while I was at, uh, PAX West last year. I was just sitting around outside the convention center, and this guy with a Screenwave Media badge, the uh, publisher for the game and also a YouTube network, just walks by and is like, yo, you want some Eagle Island keys? And I'm like, but yes, sure, that's a game that I've actually been looking forward to for a while. And, uh, and uh, you know, why not? Sure. And so he just hands me a key, I start playing it, and yeah, it was actually a pretty competent roguelite. And, uh, you know, I played it kind of here and there, waiting for it to come out. 
because yeah, obviously I mostly want to play games when they're uh I'm gonna be toying with my hair because I'm I'm a disheveled mess. Um but I like to cover games when they are, you know, coming out commercially so people can actually play them and stuff. And uh so it's not just me, you know, getting to have all the fun. And so sent a cute little postcard. Oh, it's actually it's actually got text on it as opposed to just like being a mailer. Uh greetings adventure. We hope you give your new companion a good home. On behalf of Screenwave Media, Games, and Pixelnix, we'd like to offer you this complimentary Nintendo's, Nintendo Switch digital code. Welcome to Eagle Island. Okay, so I got a Switch code for this. And PC code and some other things. But more importantly, and more adorably, it's a little messy, but... Oh, it's real soft, too. I don't want it to, like, make a mess. But this is, this is real cute. I'm getting free stuff, and uh, it's really adorable. Covered in straw, because they made a nest inside the box, which is super cute, but also... Uh, <laughs> I wish they'd use, like, fake nesting material, because this stuff is actually, like, coating the poor guy. Uh, but yeah, so I've got... I've got a cute little... Uh, I, not... It looks like an owl. I, I'm assuming it is an owl. I, I haven't actually, like, uh, gotten a confirmation from the game yet, I don't think, because it was just the, like, sort of roguelike mode. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a cute, cute little plushie of, of the, uh, the owl companion. I'm 90% certain. Uh, it is an owl. But yeah, I don't know. It's cute. I love it. I will put this over here. And you know what? Let's get to actually playing the game. Or, I guess for those of you watching on YouTube, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode.